I got a call. Someone's saying there's a bunch of shelving back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. All right, there has to be a decent way of loading these. Like this, all the way down. I do two. Yeah. That's what I think I'll do. Just like that. Hey, no back talking me. I'm not going to start going sideways because I'm risking having all of these just sliding down. That would be not good. Hmm. That's a lot of air. That's some fluffy scrap. You know what I'm thinking? It's about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half before the scrapyard closes. I think I'm gonna go to the scrapyard because this is the first stop of me doing some uh, afternoon scrapping. And yeah, the truck's gonna be full. So instead of doing that, instead of driving around, I mean, if I find a washer or dryer or refrigerator with a truck like this, I, it's gonna be problematic. Could I do it? Yeah. Am I tripling my risk and effort? Yeah. Uh-oh, Popo. Getting closer. I don't know. I'm gonna get all this on here. One more there. Then what? Four oddballs? Hmm. I mean, these things aren't um, light. So, I mean, they're decent steel. You know what? I might be able to get those four right here. If they can fit between here and here. Right here? I hope so. Maybe. Should I put them in here first and then slam the, the door closed?
It's like my truck was made for this. Sweet. All right, let's get a rope around it. So the weatherman was saying it's supposed to be thunderstorms all day today. It like sprinkled a little bit this morning, but not only do I not see rain, I certainly don't see storms or thunderstorms. All right, how busy are we? Mm -hmm. Kinda busy. Oh, there's a truck. Can I squeeze right there? I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. So I know there's gonna be a few people say, like, hey, you need to sell that shelving, Paul. And, and could I? Yes. Do I want to load this, unload it, store it, take pictures of it, field the phone calls, um, just to probably load it again to sell it? Am I gonna do that? No. 7140, that's surprising. So this is probably 600 pounds. 700 pounds sweet actually i've already been to the scrapyard once today i went to lowe's to look at a washer and dryer and on the way there i found two water heaters a refrigerator and a barbecue <laughs> on the way to lowe's so yeah so i looked at this the wash and dryer at lowe's to get for my house and then um drop the stuff off at the scrapyard got 44 dollars earlier today hmm. i don't know how far back i can go maybe i'll go i want to give this guy in the trailer plenty of room because they offload from the side sometimes yep um right here yeah i want plenty of room Chuck the stuff off the back. Can I go farther? Hey, hey. He, oh, he's gonna move this stuff? So he needs to get the forklift in here? Oh, oh, behind the store. Yep, 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 yep. Well, you saw that earlier? Yeah, the guys called. They told me yesterday I could pick it up. Oh, okay, man. But you I am full. Huh? Yeah, dude. That's that's it right there. What are the different places? She just run right with the trailer? Well, well no. With the different pla all this stuff is the for shop for the insurance company. All right. He knows me, so the guy. Is, hey, sorry, I got a lot of stuff for you. All right. So all this is for Audi's cars. For originals. Audis. Okay. Audis. Um, is this a Cadillac convertible? Uh, they are cannibals. You see? Okay, that's cannibals. a cat. Yeah, it's cats, cats. All the all, all, these, all these Audis original. Wow. They only this cost 820. 820 bucks? No, no, 320 dollars. I got four of those. Okay. See? You see the mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audis. It German, is Audi, yeah. Germany. Yeah. All these from Germany. Wow. All this stuff is the company. Are you in DeKalb? Uh, all these, no, no, this is from the east side. Oh, okay, okay. The rich town. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Batavia. Aurora and. No, no, no. <laughs> in Chicago? Batavia. Batavia, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Batavia, Wheaton, and Geneva. The guys here. Geneva, me Wheaton. Many times. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, that is a rich part of town. Man, they, all this is Europe cars. Wow. Every time. Okay. And, and so here's my encouragement to you, man. Get your phone out, record it, put it on YouTube. I had to help because I never use a smartphone. Okay. I had to somebody tell All right. me go inside. Do you have any uh, kids? Never. I'm no? Divorced. I never got found. No kids? Oh, man. So to, you need to, to get someone that's like 20. I had to find somebody because, yeah. Or a lot 10. Of people told me uh, record it because I collect too many. These are ticks. Yeah. A lot of. Yeah. These toys and ticks. It is. Antique toy. You're right. Yeah. In the park. I remember those. These and ticks. Yeah. I remember those, man. I but got, seriously, man, dude, take out your phone. Just press record button and record it and put it on YouTube. I was talking with that guy about YouTube. I told him because he does a lot of stuff. I mean, like he's Mr. Busy. 
Whoa! When Scrap attacks! I'm gonna use the elevator. Yeah, I'm normally not here in the afternoon. But initially I was talking to the guy that's right here on my left. And he's like, hey, well, did you get those over at Michael's? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh man. Like, I guess he saw him or someone told him about him or something. And that was kind of mean. I'm like, you snooze, you lose. And I'm the one that's usually snoozing and losing. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. But he was being cool. So. But honestly. I think we need more scrapping channels out there. I like watching scrapping channels. That's why I do this. I was a client before I started making them. That's for sure. Good workout. I'm just gonna check them. Whoa! My truck started moving. Is that moving that much? Fluffy. I'm getting tired. <sighs> Here's where I want them to use the magnet, just grab them all. Four at a time? Three? Two? Yeah, four is too much. Gagging. I'm not on the clock. Better hurry up. Ooh. 
we done yet? Can we go home? Ooh, that's a clean sweep right there. Go get paid. That was like a shoulder workout. Not like painful, but like good. That'd be cool if I got 50 bucks for that. That's like a deal. Hello, Katie. Yep, just a bunch of shelving. What's up, Michael? Man. I'm good, man. Just found some stuff and brought it in. <laughs> yeah. They're saying it's supposed to be thunderstormers, but I'm not seeing it. No, I feel bad because I wanted to go scrapping this morning and I didn't. Well, not really. I wanted to go neighborhood scrapping. But I believe the weatherman and I shouldn't do that. The weatherman, should weatherman shouldn't, I shouldn't trust the weatherman. I should trust the other man. See you guys later. Thank you. Have a good one. Yep. Thank you, Lord. God, you are good. You are you are lovely. You are kind. Oh, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for the scrap. And thank you for the bumper stickers. Seriously, God, thank you for just having having us all get together. Uh, even if it's at different times, it feels timeless. It feels like we're all together at the same time. <sighs> you are timeless, God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. 50 bucks. Look at that. Sweet. $50.40. What do we have here? Um, $140 a net ton. 720 pounds. Wow, that was a lot of shelving. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Here's my competition. What is up, man? Wow. I got a text from the sound guy, and he uh, his across the street neighbor has some scrap. So I'm a little bit running behind. I told him I'd be there at three, and it's three twelve. Here's the neighbor. I have to apologize for being late. Yeah, I'm 17 minutes late. I don't like that at all. Sorry for being late. So, got a few things. Actually, it was one thing, but now it's a few things. It was a treadmill. He said it's, he's had this treadmill for 20 years, and, uh, and the motor w went bad on it, so he dismantled it. And it was so cool. Um, he's a, a nuclear engineer and uh, retired from the Byron nuclear plant. And we're talking and, you know, even though I have a advanced degree of associates, <laughs> I like talking about atoms and things like that. And it was pretty cool to talk with him. I talked with him for, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, about all kinds of stuff, the electrification of vehicles and and then the power plants and nuclear power and wind power. We're, we talked about all kinds of stuff. And it was, it was interesting seeing his perspective from the inside 
being a nuclear engineer from a nuclear power plant. What an interesting perspective. And so, yeah, I just yapped away. I didn't have the camera. <laughs> that had been a, I think it would have been very interesting to capture that discussion. But anyway, yeah. Here's something that was weird. So he's talking about, about using hydrogen as a fuel. And I'm like, hydrogen, how does it, how, you can't, if hydrogen has one neutron, one proton and one electron, you can't break that into anything else. And if I understood him correctly, I think he said that naturally the hydrogen atoms are, are bonded, really bonded to each other. And that's really what you're breaking, are those bonds. <laughs> Why do I want those? Yeah, so this thing was, what, 150 bucks when I bought one for my cat. Yeah, they're expensive. Okay, now this bicycle does look like it's scrap because it's right next to a garbage can. Oftentimes I will not grab a bike that's just sitting there. I've learned that over the years. Flat tires, rusted up. It's going, whoa. Yeah, four wheels don't even play on. Could fall right off. I think that's for me. Thank you for putting it on the curb. Thank you for putting it on the curb. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I can't tell if it just is built to look old or if it is old. Hmm. Those things are expensive, dude. Like Seventy or eighty dollars. I got three of them at my house. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. It's most part of an old sign. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm just taking a look at your furniture. Really? Yeah. He was born in, um, 19, let me think about this, 1916 or something like that. Okay. All right. That's the year that. my grandfather was born. 1916. Yeah. And so he made that out of scrap wood, you know? I saw that it was from a sign on the inside. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I well, don't have any room for it. What was it used for? Uh, I always stored records and stuff in there. Okay. Originally, I'm not sure. And I set my computer on the top. Okay. Looks so, like I had some, I'm not sure, is that the size of, that looks like almost the size of a magazine. Maybe a little bit too small for that though. I don't know. Huh. Go ahead and take it. You can always throw hmm. it away. No. What I'm going to do, because this isn't my forte, it's not my specialty, um, I'm going to leave it here for others that come around because it's, garbage day is still, Tomorrow. yeah, 12 hours away. Yeah. Or garbage time. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let them pick because there are pickers that are looking for stuff like this. I, uh, so. I know. And this is a perfectly good mat, you know, under a desk for a chair. It is. But... And those are expensive. Those are like $7 or $80 at the I store. Know. Yeah. I can't use it. Yeah. And I have three of them at my house because I, I sometimes grab them. So, um, yeah, th that's going to get watch. Within two hours, my guess is these will be picked up. Well, it's been sitting here when the kids got out of school, and I thought, oh, wow. maybe somebody will pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking for anything else, Scrap? Well, I'm looking for metal. That's mainly what metal? I'm, yeah, it's mainly what I'm looking for. Uh, 1916. Yeah, that was, that was the year my grandfather, my dad's dad, uh, was born. Yeah, what a, what a great guy. You know, I was thinking about him just uh, the other day. Now, 
he is one of the most upstanding men I have ever met in my life. I've never heard him um, raise his voice, get angry, always a hard worker, very wise. Um, uh, he was physically fit his whole life. He was a colonel in the Army Air Corps. And I was, <laughs> I was talking to my girlfriend about attention deficit. And my grandfather was the pilot of a B-17, uh, the, the pilot, um, and it got shot down yeah, over Germany, and he forgot his service, uh, his service pistol, which normally the pilots have a service pistol on them at all times. And he forgot it. <laughs> He's a, you know, and he, because he forgot his service pistol, I think it was his 33rd or 34th uh, bombing mission. Um, he, uh, when he when he had to bail out, uh, he didn't have a service pistol, and so he couldn't fight the Germans that captured him. Uh, and he, normally he would have, and he said he probably would have perished if it wasn't for that. Those sun rays are amazing. Even though we've not had the thunderstorms that were predicted, absolutely beautiful uh, skies and beautiful cloud structure. Oh, plastic is gone. Or the glass is gone. <laughs> they dra <laughs> That's drag marks. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Got drug out. I like when scrap has a leash. Huh. Do I want to start piling right now? Do I feel like lifting it or should I use the lift gate? I'm getting a little tired. Yeah, because I did a scrap load before, and I did have my camera on, but I in, today I did a scrap load of a couple water heaters, barbecue, and a big old refrigerator before I did the shelving. Yeah, I'm getting a little, little beat up. Oh. Is this too rusty for the for the bike couple? Oh, it hit me in the belly. That was not fun. Too bad for an evening scrap session. Yeah. So we're going to pick up this operation in the morning, but before we do that, DeKalb had a Taste of DeKalb festival. Uh, I know it was super small compared to, you know, big cities. Um, you'll see that food truck right there um, at the Taste of DeKalb. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. There was a band playing and stuff. So here's a little clip of uh, that festival before we pick up this operation uh, in the morning. Yeah, so it rained a little bit. It it might be raining today. We'll see. I'm gonna take the bicycle off the truck and let's go find some stuff. 
Yeah, it all adds up. I would love some. What kind of scrap you got? Sure, yeah. Right on. I just heard on the radio that it's National Scarf Day. Yeah. And I'm hungry too. While I'm waiting, I can snip a cord. Try not to make too much racket. It's a little foggy. I'm hoping it clears up a little bit. As long as it's mostly metal, I can take it. Yeah, I'll take bed frames all day. You want me to come in here? Okay. All right. All right. What else can you take in regards to like? Um, I can take. I can take appliances. I can take um, car batteries and wire and. Um, anything metal, lawnmowers, things like that. Okay. Yeah. And if you, um, in the future, if you take it out to the curb, like a little bit separate from your trash, um, okay. me and a couple other guys drive around and, uh, try to find this stuff. Okay. So just like the, just the bed rails and like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's good metal right there. Absolutely recyclable. That's absolutely beautiful. What do we got going on here? Hmm. I might have a couple bicycles for. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. That's a little iffy. I don't know. Maybe we'll give it to the bike couple. Wow, this bike was ridden so much that, new scratch, that it's just wore out. I like that. Warms my heart to see kids out playing. And that's serious exercise too. Look at this thing. Do a little kernut. That's what we called it anyway. When you kick the back end out on your bike, you hit somebody call it a kernut. <laughs> um, right here. Is that metal? Nope, plastic. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Whoa. That's a full truck. I have a feeling that is not just out here as junk. That's a good looking bicycle though. Seriously. I almost missed these as I was driving past. And they're wet. Sorry, puppy. Seriously, what's up with that bike? Hey, way better. Snap Tool 2024 Beta. I dig it. I was just driving this way and I thought I saw a massive barbecue. Or is it a piano? Or is it a box? It's, oh, I don't know what it is. It is a barbecue and a light. Okay. I 
got a Pearl Jam song stuck in my head like for two days. I don't know why. I'm not really a Pearl Jam fan. It just la 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 fade away. It's just, it, but, that part of the song is the repeating part. It never stops. Wait a minute. That's a screen digital products thing. That's not a barbecue. What is it? What you be, dude? Whoa. I don't know what it is. Hey, what's going on, Pastor? Doing all right. What are you doing? Going to work. All right. Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? To you going to work? Yeah. What day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. We okay. That's right. Okay. It's my house. Really? I did not know you live right here. Live right here. I'm looking at this machine right here. I'm like, what is that? Is Guess it a. Sander or? I think it's a screen printing oh, okay. thing of some sort. I don't know. Nice. Cool. All right. Hey, let's pray. All right, Father in heaven, thank you for this for this for this moment that uh, I get to sit here with Pastor. Um, God, I love you uh, with all of my heart, Lord. Let me continue to look to you yes, for everything God. in our you, lives. Um, we're you have a good you have a good word, Lord. We're so grateful that you are for us. That whatever is going against us, what shall we say to these things? You are for us, and so God, we just pray that you just bless our day that we would walk and step with you that we be in the light and we would be the light and people would see the light and be in joy and mm. let the love of jesus flood their souls in jesus name. all right amen. amen brandon thank you i appreciate you man you all right yeah yeah super good nice. yeah yeah sorry to hear about your mom I saw yeah 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 she passed um what six eight weeks ago yeah oh almost almost two months yeah, yeah. so yeah, she um, she she loved God, you know, she loved Jesus, um, and I know that I'll see her again. So she's with my dad, uh, she's with my brother, so yeah. So I'm the only one left from the family of origin that I grew up with. Wow. So. That's weird. Yeah, it is. It's I feel orphaned, yeah. um, but at the same time, um, I have been adopted in the family of Christ. Yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah, hopefully, that that's the reality. Yeah. So. Hopefully you feel that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Good. It was good seeing you. Good yeah, I'm glad I know where you live now. Yeah. All right, Pastor. See ya. Wow. I love divine appointments. Who knew? All right. I'm not sure. Do I just drag it? Thanks for putting it out on the curb. Yeah, I think this t-shirt had something to do with it yeah i think it's screen printing for printing on t-shirts and that's coming from complete ignorance i don't know i've never seen a t-shirt getting printed before all right you want to get the other end around there get <laughs> Hmm. What are these things? Is that a there are two flux capacitors? <laughs> can I walk it? I think I can. Oh, oh, a little bit too much. <sighs> I think the drawer just came out. It totally did. <sighs> All right. At least we're off the curb now. <sighs> Have to make a bunch of racket. That needs to come off the curb, it keeps on catching.
Maybe I can keep swinging it around. That feels firm, like it's really attached. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, my goal, get this onto the left this way, lift it up, turn it this way, Scooch it onto the truck. <laughs> Don't freak me out like that. <laughs> Is that crow laughing at me? having this drawer that way. Yeah. Seems like it's getting darker. So I looked at the weather map and over in Iowa is the center of this low pressure. Kind of looks like a, a hurricane type of swirl going on, even though it's not a hurricane. But it's keeping these clouds just circling right above us. My crow buddies. Yeah, um, yeah, let's do a trucker's hitch. Just gotta start the truck, I like the starting a key. talking about perfect I'm blocking driveways Gets this. Hmm. Here we go. Nice and quiet. What is this? I'm a sucker for a pen. I bet it works too, huh? works. And that's way too heavy for me to shoulder it onto the truck.
Hello, good morning. Yeah. I've got one in Oregon. Okay. But I'll, I'll uh, give you a, I got your card. I'll give you a call. Okay. It, so yeah, wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to keep it. Ooh. Look at this little blessing right here. Yeah, that stuff's a dollar a pound. I don't think I've stopped at this covered bridge before. It was a few other ones down, but I just saw this fountain going. Yeah. seconds of tranquility whoa that looks even more tranquil over here all right can we get a double 20 seconds Good piece of scrap right there. Glad it wasn't blocking driveways. I'm too smart for that. If I saw right, he had the magnet on the craw. All right, no other trucks are here. I'm going to guess uh, uh, 7,100 pounds. And 7,200. 7,200. Zero, zero. Well, I think I can wiggle in between that pile and the side. Dude is out of the way. Ooh. He almost got hit with that. All right, I think I got room over here. Yep, I can do it. You going? All right. All right. That's perfect. All right. I'm keeping the bike for the bike couple. Down over there. Hold up. 
guys a little iffy and the way these legs are they're gonna catch in those grooves Ooh. Good. Yeah, this guy's good. all right, man. I'm keeping this one though. Oh, he might be a bike guy. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. Yeah, I'm giving that to a, a, a couple that they, they do bikes. Yeah. He might be a bike guy. Yeah. Got some tangle going on here. Not a big fan of being perched at the edge. Good, good, good. Whoa, that one just broke right off. Not sure if it broke or just came apart. Yeah, these little pinwheels or rollers, they're heavy. Hmm. You can make it go through the refrigerator. Nope. Bicycle. All right, let's go get paid. There's all kinds of scrape marks. Uh oh, someone's coming in. Incoming scrap truck. Cool, I'll be able to see how much I weigh out. I guess I could do this every time. Yeah, there's a bunch of scrape marks on the on the concrete here. So he weighs 7120. Yeah, that's I think that truck's lighter than mine. That's a Dodge. All right, I see zeros. I'm weighing 
out at 6580. Calibrate the scale. 240? Hmm. Hello, good morning, Katie. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, just steel. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. I will see you later. All right, see you later. bike for the bike couple. I got a bike at my house. Actually, I actually have two bikes at my house for the bike couple. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the blue sky. I see a little speck of blue. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for, uh, just, thank you for <laughs> just divine appointments that, that we, we meet people at just the right times. We talk about just the right things, and it's just beyond coincidence. Thank you for that, God. Thank you for, for the love. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, let's go over these numbers. Uh, 640 pounds at $140 a net ton, which is different than a metric ton, which is 2,260, something like that. So a net ton is just 2,000 pounds. So 640 pounds at seven cents a pound, which is that $140 net ton I was talking about, um, for a total of $44.80. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thanks for that. And I want to thank you for the PayPal tip jar. I want to thank you for uh, buying merchandise. Um, thank you for for just subscribing to the channel and watching the videos and just being a part of this mind blowing adventure that I'm on that you're on this with me I know that it's you know you're watching it and I'm out you got the GoPro going um, but it's still a together thing so thanks for that I'm getting ready to go to my house right now I have to meet um, they're delivering the washer and dryer um, and that has to do with with you thank you for for helping out making that happen it's it's been close to a year since I've had a washer and dryer at the house. We've been doing a laundromat. Um, and that would have continued, you know, if it wasn't for uh, some some very generous uh, folks. So thank you for that. Um, wow. <laughs> Sometimes I pinch myself. I'm like, is this real? <gasps> Here comes Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> She's my buddy. She's Olivia, my dog's real mom. That's right. Hi, Tanya. What's going on? How you doing? Hey, I got my, my YouTube going here. So I just want to introduce Olivia's real mom. Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm Olivia's real mom. That's right. And yep. uh, I work at McDonald's. I'm also on YouTube as well. Are you? Yes. So, uh, Actually, I've seen a few of your videos. Is this, is this from Renee? Yeah, that's a Diet Coke. Okay. And it's an extra sandwich in here for you and your girl. Whoa. God bless. Have a great day. Thank you. And welcome to IU2. So, hey, real quick. So, you, you picked out Olivia as a puppy. Yes, I did. Picked her out. I This guy had about six, seven puppies. And I happened to be walking down the street where I live in Maywood. And line up was, I said, that's the dog I want, her. And I went and got her, and she's the beautiful thing in the world. God bless everyone. That's right. God bless everyone. Seriously. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Tanya. God bless you. You're girl. amazing. Hi, Minion. I can't end the video without saying hi to the mans. Hello, Minion. What's going on? Olivia, guess who I just saw? I just saw your real mom. Yes. How are you doing? You you seem 
very relaxed. Am I bothering you on your day off? I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be bothering you on your day off. I love you. You're an amazing puppy head. Yes, you are.